Okay, so next we have reflections, and the rules are written up here. To reflect across the x-axis, all you have to do is keep the same x's, but make all your, of your y's opposite. So if I have like 5, the opposite of 5 is negative 5. If I have negative 2, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Okay, so for, for reflection across x-axis, keep your x's the same, your y's um, change the sign. For reflection across the y-axis now, it's just the opposite. All of your y's will stay the same because it's across the y-axis, but all of your x's are going to be um, um, flipped. Okay, So all you really have to do here is, if you see my first point, it says a is negative 4 and 2. Here's the rule. I'm going to reflect it across the x-axis. So since it says x-axis, the x's are the same. All right. So for a prime, I'm going to have negative 4. I'm going to keep it the same. But for my y-axis, I'm going to change the sign. Instead of 2 is negative 2. So a now becomes, a prime becomes negative 4, negative 2. So let me plot that. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2. All right, so we have a prime. Okay, this is interesting. Because if you see a here, a prime here, what axis is it jumping across? It's jumping across the x-axis. All right, so now for b, I'm going to keep my, my x is the same, so 4 just stays 4. This, I have to do the opposite. So positive 7 now becomes negative 7. So for b, we have 4, which is right here, and then negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to be b prime, my after image. Next, I have 5, x-axis, 5 stays the same. For the y-axis, negative, so negative 1. So 5, negative 1. So it will be right here. And as you can clearly see, the image, well, let me just go ahead and finish the image for you so you can see it better. The same exact triangle, all right, is going to be shown but reflected across the x-axis. So we keep congruency here. It, it's going to be the same, all right? Now, let's go ahead and try it for this one. This is the y-axis. So the y-axis is here. So... Of course, if it's reflecting across the y-axis, it's going to go from here to here. Now, for y-axis, y's will stay the same. So if I have f, negative 5, negative 2, my y's will stay the same. So for f prime, my y here is negative 2, but my x, I'm going to take the opposite. So it's negative 5, it now becomes positive 5. So f prime is positive 5, negative 2. Um, G... Since it's y-axis, let me focus on the y first. Um, this is going to be negative 2, 2. Once again, it's y. Let me focus on the y first, negative 6. Um, 0 is neither negative nor positive, so that's an easy one. And then lastly, we have negative 8, negative 6. So negative 6 stays the same. 8 then becomes positive. All right now let's go ahead and plot this 5 negative 2 1 2 3 4 5 negative 2 1 2 so over here is going to be f prime and then 1 2 1 2 this is g prime 0 negative 6 so h and h prime are actually sharing the same um coordinate and then we got 8 negative 6 8's right here negative 6 is right here so it's going to be i prime Right, so let me just go ahead and draw the image. And of course, you can clearly see that um, it is just going to be the same exact image, but this time it's just going to be on the opposite side of that y axis. Okay? And that's basically it. Let's go through one more example. Let's say that I give you this image. I want you to figure out what is the rule for this transformation. So, remember, the rules should, should be written in this format over here. We're going to have x and y is going to translate to <clears throat> what's happening here. What's happening here? So, this is my pre-image. This is my after image. It's going from here up here. So, it's jumping across this axis here. This is my x-axis. So, th this must be a x-axis reflection. All right, or a reflection about the x-axis. So in order to do that, all I need to indicate is that my x's have to be the same and that my y's have to be different. 
So this is going to be my rule. And that's it for reflections.